So the footage you're about to watch is actually from the live stream I did while creating this project. If you'd like to see any of the raw footage in the first 12 hours of me programming this with no cuts, you guys can check that out in the link in the description. Since I was coding an online game, I needed to program both a client and a server. The first half of my stream was dedicated to creating the client, which meant making the game of chess fully functioning and working. The first hour of the stream was dedicated to setting up the project. This meant determining what classes and what objects I was going to need, and then I started programming and working to get the images showing up on the screen. This was pretty straightforward, all I had to do was resize the images, and then focus on doing a dynamic placement for each of the chess pieces. Next, I went to work on selecting and moving pieces. Now this was a bit more difficult as I had to determine the correct movement for all of the different chess pieces, and that meant looking at the pieces around each piece and determining which spaces were a valid move and which were not. You can see the valid moves marked by the little red dots that I was drawing to test out the program. After about 3 hours, I was able to select and move pieces. Now most of the movement for my chess pieces were working, but I was still having a few issues with pieces like the queen and the rooks. The next hour was spent working on capturing pieces and adding a few other improvements to the movement. As you can see, there was still quite a bit of work that needed to be done. The next two hours were spent debugging and improving the movement. I made quite a bit of progress but was still running into one very frustrating issue. I decided to take a break from movement and move on to timers. Implementing the timers was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was just determine which player was moving and then subtract from that player's time accordingly. The next thing I did after this was try to implement a function to check if one of the kings was in check or in checkmate. This went okay, but I was still having a lot of issues with this. Here you are about to see one of the largest issues I was running into while coding this program. When moving the queen and checking the king from a certain position, it would allow the king to move into a checked position. Now I was having a lot of trouble figuring out why this was, and eventually had to give up on the problem until one of my viewers was actually able to help me out and send me some modified code. For the next hour I added a menu screen and continued to debug. It's worth noting that at this point I've been coding for about 7 hours with no breaks, and the mind was starting to get a little bit tainted. Once the client was about 99% complete, with only a few bugs left, I decided to move on to networking. I was going to look back at the client later and see if I could get a fresh perspective on some of the issues I couldn't fix. After about 8 hours of programming, it was time to start networking. Now this was quite difficult as I had no experience with Linux. Fortunately for me, Centex was able to help me out by walking me through how to set up a very basic Linux server. I was using sockets and threading to handle multiple connections to my server. After about two hours of messing around with the server and setting things up, getting my dependencies going, I finally was able to connect to the server and send information to and from the clients. At this point in the stream I had been programming for about 10 hours, and my efficiency was starting to decrease exponentially. After finally figuring out the server and setting it up properly, it was time to connect my two game clients to the server. This was fairly easy as I already knew how to connect things to the server, but sending information was a massive headache. After about two hours of trial and error, I determined that the best way to send information would be to store the state of the board on the server and to send string data from the clients to the server stating which move had been made and to update the board appropriately. The other clients would constantly ask for information from the server and would be given the board object that would have been updated from the server. The rest of the stream was spent debugging and adding features. Keep in mind I've been programming for well over 12 hours and it was really starting to take a toll on my mind and especially my efficiency. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, time lapse I put together for you guys. Essentially what I'm showing you right now is just the completed version of the game. This is what I was able to finish within 18 hours of streaming. Now unfortunately YouTube does not actually save uh, more than 12 hours of a stream, so I ended up streaming for 18 hours 
and then I had to stop just because I was mentally exhausted. Um, I was fine to stay awake, but just I really couldn't think about anything. And essentially all my productivity was just down the drain. So this is what I was able to complete though. Fully functioning online multiplayer chess game only supports one game running at a time, which means only two people can be playing. So that's something I want to add in the future, having multiple games running simultaneously. I also want to add the ability to have, um, what do you call it? Like you can add friends and you can create a chess account and I want to make this like a full scale like kind of professional like I don't know desktop app or whatnot. Um, but I think this was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself being able to complete this in 18 hours. That was a crazy stream. Um, I never imagined myself doing something like that, but I have to say I had so much fun. Um, obviously, there were some points where I ran into some issues and some troubles, uh, but once I got past that, it was just a really genuinely good time. I had an awesome time spending it with you guys and being able to hear your questions and just chat with you. And I'll definitely be doing something like this in the future. So if you guys want to see some more stuff like this, some more long coding live streams, maybe not 24 hours, but maybe we'll do like 12 or something, um, then make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you know let me know if there's something that you want to see in the future. With that being said, all of this code is available on GitHub. I will have that link in the description for any of you that want to play around with this project. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button and obviously subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.